all they love the way we sound, the way we view, so turn up your sound, cause here comes the most badass talent to review. Satchel Game Review. Cause that's what we do when we start, review games whether they're good or not. From the graphics to gameplay, beginning with a plot, nothing will stop us from reaching the top. 500 subs in less than three days These motherfucking idiots thinking it's just a phase We suffer through damnation and even haze But we come through cause we're here to stay What the fuck up, Pamela? Okay, so Broken Bond, which is the sequel of the first Naruto game that was placed on the Xbox, uh, starts off exactly where the first one left off. Um, last one left off where Naruto's being the shit out of Gara, and uh, we go back to the village which is getting attacked by Michael Jackson, and... So the third Hokage is uh, fighting Michael Jackson, and this is like an epic battle, just standing still. And uh, Michael Jackson, well, come on, everybody's read Naruto, uh, wins the battle, and we are now on the search to find uh, a replacement. And that's where the story basically starts off. And the game itself, the core engine, is very similar to the first one. But does that mean it improved in any way? Or is it staying mostly the same, or has it got worse? Well, we're about to go over that. So overall, I gave you the theme of the story in the beginning and where it ends with, which is uh, rescuing Sasuke from the big evil thing, even though he kicks your ass. Um, the story itself is really boring, I felt, and this isn't a great arc to uh, put in a game because it's mostly just chasing. Uh, but the thing to make it worse is basically put in filler. And I'm talking about worse filler than what's in the anime. And it is just terrible. It really is. It's a waste of time, a waste of effort, and nothing really happens in the story that's interesting. I would have to agree with Whitey. I just found this story really fucking retarded. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like Naruto the first couple seasons, so if you guys say, Oh, you didn't see the anime, you know, I did see the anime. And I know what happens in the anime, and this does follow the anime, but... It had a bunch of fillers. It just felt really, really dried out and boring and just fucking retarded. But one thing I did actually like about the game was the uh, graphical style overall. It was very Naruto, and uh, it worked out for the better. Uh, The specials actually look better in this game for the most part. And overall, I have to say, I like the graphic style and looking at the scenery. The only thing I would have to say is that I felt some of the minor details were taken away in this game, unlike the first game, especially like Naruto's wet whiskers and all that shit. But uh, overall, the graphics represent Naruto pretty well. Well, well, what have we here? Let's see how strong you are. Um, I would have to agree with Whitey once again. Uh, this vi- graphics very follow the style of the anime. Uh, the effects for the super for the uh, super moves or something. Uh, they're really great. I, I just feel really powerful each time I did them. But uh, you know, overall the graphics are really well done. Uh, moving on to uh, gameplay, which the core of the gameplay is of course combat. It's very similar to the first, but it's I don't know why it just feels different than the first. But it does have the same core in terms of what you're doing, same moves and everything, how you're doing jutsus and everything. I don't know why, but it maybe it feels more fun in the first only because they added some new moves or I think characters or something. Say a lot more characters were added into this game. Yeah, uh, it's a lot more characters were added, better characters, and I don't know why it just felt more fun. I'm not saying this is Street Fighter level, but you know it was fun for like a couple hours. But other than that, you just felt really dried out and got pretty boring. You won't be the first one that I've killed. You don't seriously think you can beat me? Yeah, the fighting mostly stayed the same, so I'm not going to go too much into it. I just felt that the specials overall, uh, like half of them were much better in this game, while the other half were just a pain in the ass to pull off, like following this guy with a trigger and all this which just didn't work out. Um, the other part of gameplay was basically the adventure and platforming, and... I like the adventure part, I like searching areas, I think that was cool, but the platforming itself was still a pain in the ass, and falling into the river like a hundred fucking times was not on my plan of to-do list in this game, so I have to say that while the adventure was a cool idea, the platforming just made it crap, and overall the combat system once again just feels like really weak, or definitely anime feel to it over trying to be a true fighter. And uh, I guess our overall enjoyment is I would recommend not buying this game unless it's $19.99 or lower. Um, there is online, so that could improve your replayability and uh, unlocking characters and all that good stuff. 
But uh, I just, it, it's a short game, the story mode, it's maybe eight hours if you skip the side missions, which are worse in this game than the last. And the, uh, my only other complaint is the English voice acting makes me want to stab a cat. But uh, that's, that's basically it. I would say just wait till this is 1999 or just rent it. All right then, let's begin. Well, out of it's Whitey, you heard him, you know what you guys think, 20 bucks or lower, pick it up. If you're a Naruto fan, you might pick it up for more, but if you're a Mal Naruto fan, pick it up for maybe $20, $10, $15, whatever. But I mean, you know, you've heard what we said, I pretty much agree with them most about this, and I just didn't really enjoy this to the full extent that I would probably enjoy another anime game such as, you know, Dragon Ball or uh, One Piece or Bleach or something of that nature. But, I mean, overall, it was just a very straightforward, get-what-you-pay-for game. The last battle, obviously, was very bad. God, I fucking hate that. He looks like a goddamn... Butterfly. He No, he looks like a fucking Moth. beetle. Or no, he looks like a vampire with duck feet on his back. He is. I mean, you know, I have nothing against the gays, but the lipstick is just yeah, like, Naruto, I, I want to suck know, your I fox don't... dick. And it's just... I do not use faggot in that term. I'm all for gays. I legalize gays. Legalize. I'm not. You're allowed gay. to walk gay people. <laughs> I legalize gay, but I'm not gay. But still. Okay, Sasuke, Sasuke and Michael Jackson have a baby later on in the series. Okay, bye. Bye.